Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. It's a glorious sunny day and I'm in a gorgeous wheat field. How could life be better? Wait, what's this? Oh my gosh, we've got stripe rust in the wheat crop. Now, if you haven't dealt with stripe rust before, they call it yellow death in Europe. Why do they call it yellow death? Because in the matter of a few days, it can basically kill the entire crop. You need to get out and scout your wheat fields. You're looking at this, I look at this and I say, oh gosh, there's a yellow spot. But when I actually start looking, oh, there's a lesion here, there's a lesion here. It's all through this wheat field and within five days, this whole wheat field could look like these yellow spots. That is massive yield loss. We're really close to T3, our fusarium timing. Fusarium risk is fairly high. You go, gosh, can't I wait for the T3? If you have to wait more than three days, you actually probably need to get in here and spray with a triazole fungicide. You cannot use a strobe. Once we get to this boot stage wheat, growth stage 45, you cannot use a strobe. You increase the risk of fusarium of dawn in the crop and the fusarium risk is really high. How do you identify stripe rust? Does it look like anything else? You can mistake it for physiological fleck. They both look pretty similar and there's other diseases maybe, not really, but how do you know it's really simple? If it's physiological fleck, you can rub it forever. Nothing happens, it doesn't go away. Your thumb stays just your thumb. Stripe rust, they've got yellow pustules called yellow death, yellow pustules. You do like this and guess what? The yellow comes off the leaf and look at that. My thumb is yellow. That's how you identify it. This particular disease is faster than any disease I've ever seen. Its life cycle under these temperatures is five to seven days. Under cooler temperatures, Albert Tenuta, our provincial pathologist, would say two weeks. But it sporulates so much. It came in as part of free trade from Pennsylvania or, or from somewhere south of the border. It got here probably around the end of April, 1st of May, these spots that you see, that's where the first spores landed. They've already gone through a life cycle. It's May the 22nd. We saw this about May the 18th. So that probably first sporulated about May the 8th. It means that first spore had to get here late April. We knew it was coming. It's really hard to scout for. You can walk through the field and if, when it's the individual lesion, it's really hard to find that one lesion in this spot. But if you miss it, and, and by the way, I scout this field. I try to do a good job. I missed it. And the first time we saw it, well, we saw, oh, look at that, a yellow spot. As soon as you see that, you have to get out there. You have to look and you need to spray immediately if your T3 fungicide is not within three days. This, the yield loss on stripe rust can be 50% or more. You can't take the risk. So is there varietal differences? Absolutely, but we are seeing it develop even on what we would consider to be moderately tolerant wheat varieties. It's showing up first on the highly susceptibles. This is a highly susceptible variety, we know that, but it's also an extremely high yield variety. So have a look at gocrops.ca, that can tell you your variety sensitivity, but that's not the whole story. You still need to scout, you see the yellow spots, you see, can I spray my T3 within three days? If the answer is no, you spray immediately. Something cheap, a triazol, folicure, bumper, something that's readily available, spray immediately and then please wait seven days for the T3. We don't want to overload the plant with the fungicide, with the surfactant, and so if, if the T3 is four days away normally, you can go another three days, still be in the right window for control. So, incredibly awesome wheat crop. I can't believe the biomass here. Big biomass means big yields. But if we end up with a whole bunch of this, in this crop, it takes all of that leaf area away. That's our photosynthetic capability. Our big biomass becomes a big bust. We don't want that in the wheat crop. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Scout for stripe rust and grow great wheat.